Welcome back to Miss Kulala's Mystical Musings. And I'm going to do the last walkthrough of the decks that I just recently received in my subscription box from the Card Deck Club by Hay House. So this is the third one. And it's called the Animal Guides Tarot. So the box is pretty hefty. Um, it is a 78 card deck and guidebook illustrations by Dan Craig created by Radley Valentine. And this box is huge. It's heavy. Um, let's see what it says on the back. Powerful messages from angels and your animal guides tune into the magical gifts of the animals and receive divine guidance that transform your life that transforms your life. In Animal uh, Guides Tarot, Radley Valentine brings you gentle messages from the four-legged, finned, and feathered creatures of the earth. The cards are filled with inspiring symbolic imagery, and the guidebook shows you how to give accurate and magical readings. Discover the powerful messages of tarot in a positive and loving way, respectful of your spiritual path of joy. So I can already tell they're very um, uh, positive. And I have looked through these already. So the um, box, inside the box says, May you find wisdom, comfort, and joy on your journey with your animal guides. So I don't have um, a lot of animal decks. I have um, a couple dragon decks. And I have some cat decks. So this, I think, will be my first one that has more than just, you know, <clears throat> like it's specifically animals, different kinds of animals. So here's the guidebook. And, you know, I think the guidebook, Hay House makes a wonderful guidebook. Um, it's already creased here and it's already creased here, which minimizes the wear on these. And this one is nice, nice size. I just, owls are so beautiful. Um, so let's take a look. Okay. There's the contents, how to work with the animal guides tarot and the meanings of the cards. Your animal guides. Animals can come to you in spirit form as an animal guide acting as your companion and protector. They can be a beloved pet who has passed over a spirit animal you've never encountered in physical form. Um, the Animal Guides Tarot, like my other card decks, are 100% positive while still acknowledging the realities of life's ups and downs. Based on traditional tarot, the messages in these cards have been translated into their highest vibration. So you won't find any frightening images or words here, as all the cards are compassionate and respectful of your sensitivity. Huh. About your Animal Guides Tarot. Tarot is an accurate tool to get detailed information and answers to your questions. Of course, you can receive guidance by going directly to God and the angels. However, when you're stressed, it can be difficult to feel their presence or hear their messages. That's when tarot cards can cre create a pipeline to heavenly guidance for you. Yeah, I definitely like to use tarot to uh, pull messages that I might not be receiving for myself, you know. And of course, for um, a quarant that has a question, I, I love using tarot. Um, how to use your animal guides tarot cards. Um, an important concept to understand before beginning to work with your tarot cards is the law of attraction. Simply put, this is the idea that whatever you place your mental and emotional focus on is what you'll bring into your life. So if you focus on positive, happy things you want, then that's what you'll manifest. Uh, yeah, 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 yes. Clean them up. Prepare the cards. Put your energy into them. Okay. Um, shuffle. Shuffle. A little note here. But to give you an example, here's the blessing that they use. Oh, it's a blessing. Okay. Um, 
Okay. Pull a card. Um, three card reading. So there's some spreads. Celtic cross card spread and what each card represents. That's always helpful. And then we get into the cards. So interesting that they are tarot because I did look at these. So let's take a look at the backs here. Just like the, the front. Um, ugh, the backs are gorgeous. It's great quality cardstock. I think Hay House always is. Um, and they are about the size of the last Oracle, I think, that I did a walkthrough of. Maybe a little bit shorter. And I don't think you can trim these because I went through the images and I'll let you be the judge. But, um, like, I can't, I, I could kind of tell this is the fool, you know, like with this specific card because, um, you know, there's the little, uh, sack that is, that they, that is carried in the fool. Um, but I mean, honestly, like that would be the biggest clue. Um, so there's the shepherd puppy, which is the fool. And the artwork in these is, is magnificent. Um, but I'm going to go through these and I'll give you kind of what I think of them. But I, this deck, I will be honest, I feel like it's more Oracle because I don't, it's hard sometimes for me to associate these images with the Rider Waite Smith, the system that I learned. And um, Justice and the Strength are switched, but even with the Thoth system, they're still different, in my opinion. Um, butterflies are in all of the major arcana. And in some of the minor, but the major arcana all have butterflies in the pictures. There's the magician as the unicorn. And there's the infinity. So, I mean, I can kind of get a magician feel from that. Absolutely. There is magic in the air. You can manifest everything you need to be successful. The High Priestess, like I would have trouble associating the High Priestess, but yet we've got pillars. So I guess maybe just because I'm not really familiar with animal decks. I mean, if there was a woman in there, maybe I would, you know. Um, this is time to pause and reflect, not to take action. Trust in your spiritual gifts as nothing is hidden from your divine intuition. So like there's... Sometimes the priestess card is about, you know, secrets and stuff. So I feel like the the um, creator does say, you know, Radley does say that, um, you know, this is the high vibration meaning. So I could, I can get behind that. You know, this is the positive outlook. This is the highest outlook positively to, to take this information in. It's just plain beautiful, too. Um, the Empress is an Angora rabbit. And, of course, you know, then you have the symbolism of the uh, Venus. So that's... But other than that, I, I don't know if I would be able to... Maybe. There's the butterfly again. Time to hop into action. Use your natural creativity to bring forth prosperity and success in your life. Hmm. These cards aren't super shiny either, so I like that. The Emperor. <laughs> um, so let's take a look in the guidebook and see what it says about the Emperor. Because, you know, uh, this is like, I'm not getting strong uh, Aries energy. <laughs> Structure and organization are important right now. Don't be afraid to take on a leadership role as you have much wisdom to offer. 
but I can get behind that, you know. So let's see what it says in the guidebook about the emperor. So the deer mouse. Focusing on the details, being pragmatic, thinking of the future, keeping everything just so, providing constructive feedback in a kind manner. While the Angora rabbit, which is the empress, is all about passion, creativity, and exuberance, the deer mouse, the emperor, asks you to put a little structure around all of that excitement. He compassionately informs you that hap hazard creation can turn into chaos. Have you thought through all your possible outcomes for your plans or are you overanalyzing? Perhaps this is the time to reevaluate. It's definitely time to get organized. This card can also indicate great leadership skills or the need to take charge of a situation. It may seem counterintuitive to present the emperor as a deer mouse, but the truth is that this card is about all those details. Our little friend is always thinking ahead by storing away what he will need for the future. When he remains focused on the larger picture without skipping any of the necessary steps, he has the ability to do great things. The deer mouse is highly resourceful and prolific, thereby making sure that his plans come to fruition even if he himself can't complete them. By planning responsibly yourself, you'll have the same kind of success. Deer mice are also always seen to their own cleanliness. They like their fur to be perfectly groomed, neat, and tidy. Remember, you only get one shot at a first impression, so be prepared. <laughs> oh, I yeah. He's freaking cute as heck, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, these cards are so gorgeous. This is the kind of artwork that I would, like, frame, <laughs> you know. And again, there's that butterfly. That's so interesting. All right. Here, this would be the Hierophant, Unity, Polar Bear. Embrace this time of deep spiritual growth. Spend time with others who are also on a sacred path. Compare, compare, compare. Huh, I wonder where my mind went there. Compare traditional methods with new ideas. Mm. That's such a, that's just beautiful. It's beautiful. The lovers, uh, flamingos, yeah. Yeah, like I said, I think I would have better use as um, oracle or daily affirmations. The chariot, that definitely looks like a chariot card. Um, but it looks like they're riding and not pulling. <laughs> you can successfully balance various or um, opposing energies at once through determination and focus. You've earned the rewards and recognition you're receiving. So yeah, now it's their turn to just kind of enjoy the ride, right? <laughs> I like that. And see, here we have the elephant representing justice in as number eight. Huh, yeah. Fair decisions will be made after all the evidence is reviewed impartially. Have compassion for others and try to see all sides of a disagreement. So I can, you know, um, with the, the little... Uh, phrase that is taken from the guidebook because this is in the guidebook too um i i can get behind the meaning and the in the symbolism in the card so this is the hermit take time for contemplation to retreat and go within be a beacon for others on their path to spiritual enlightenment and that's so the firefly that's that's interesting. Yeah. Huh. There's that butterfly. And so if you didn't see it in the elephant, it's down here. But yeah, that's so, I love it. Um, the wheel. The wheel of fortune. There's the butterfly. 
reindeer. Expect a sudden positive change in your life. You can now move forward and make great progress. Yeah. Strength. The Messiah, Masay lion and lamb. Not sure if I said that right. But true strength is displayed through kindness, forgiveness, and compassion. You have tremendous personal power and courage. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. I do like that because sometimes strength is being kind to one another. Even, you know, yeah. I don't even have to get into it. That definitely takes strength sometimes. It's a great card. And... Who put those flowers in the lion's hair? Because <laughs> I'm wondering, you know. <laughs> I would love to be able to do that. And just to feel the the mane. Kiss the lion's nose. <laughs> Someday. Um, awakening. <laughs> and it, he looks like he's upside down. But he's probably just looking down. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I, I like I like that. <laughs> uh, release. This is one that if I came across this card, I would not associate it with death. I just wouldn't. I wouldn't. No, not without reading it. But again, this is the the highest vibration of the of the meaning of the card. It's time to release the past and move on to something new. This ending is the first step on the way to a happier future. I still would not associate this with that. Balance, um, temperance, and I would have a hard time associating this with temperance except for he has a hoof in the, in the water and one on land. I mean... You know, there's the butterfly again. <laughs> an iris. I think that's an iris. Um, ego, again, with the devil. Siamese cat. You may feel that you're trapped in your situation, but that's not true. Be careful not to uh, overly focus upon material wealth and break free of negative thinking. Um, yeah, yeah. And again, devil and ego make a lot of sense to me. Um, I think we fool ourselves more than anything, <laughs> but it's cute. You know, this is really cute. <laughs> and it's, it's very gentle. Just like, um, the author said, it's, it's, it's gentle. It's not like, Hey, I'm you know, it's not like this. It's like, so, <laughs> you know, I like that. That's cute. Um, life experience as the, so this, yeah. Okay. Um, important changes are coming into your life that will require you to take action. Don't hesitate to move in new directions, you know, are right for you. I don't get a tower feel from this, you know. Um, yeah, again, these would make great daily affirmations too and using it like Oracle. I mean, I get it. I do get it. I mean, it's everything that the author says it is, at, at least for that. I just don't know. Like if I was to take, you know, the the fact that this is the star and take all that off, and any, you know, keywords or phrases, I don't think I would know that that's a star card. You know what I mean? That's that's my only, like, I wouldn't say issue. My my only, uh, I don't know what you call it. I just don't agree with this working as tarot, I guess, overall. But are beautiful and so like for oracle i definitely beautiful and the moon so gorgeous but it's another one of those things if that moon wasn't in there you know that's the only thing that i can see you know 
um, the sun. I yeah, I could. This would make sense as a sun card. Renewal. This would not make sense to me as judgment, except for it's a time of reassessment. But I don't look at raccoons that way. I think those little shits want to get in my trash. <laughs> um, the world. Oh, that is so beautiful, though. Shetland Sheepdog. Hmm. Congratulations on successfully accomplishing what you set out to do. You've made it through the challenges and incorporated the lessons life offered you with grace and courage. Okay, so now, um, and again, like all the um, major arcana has like a has the the purple fuchsia like border, and then um, here we are at fire wands, and we have. Um, a red or a burgundy burnt color and that that makes sense um but this would be like the ace of wands so i mean it's beautiful but without knowing it's the ace of fire i i don't think i would know that but it's beautiful for affirmation a wonderful new opportunity presents itself it may have come as a surprise but you'll still want to leap into action and passionately pursue every possibility and the words are beautiful just not given tarot you know two of fire a pelican three of fire sea turtle mike 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 sorry i think of uh finding nemo i will never look at Sea turtles the same after finding Nemo. Dude. <laughs> yeah. Very um, excellent movie anyway. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sometimes my sense of humor uh, pops up. But it's a beautiful card. Couldn't you just, I mean, I could put these pictures on my wall. They're just gorgeous. Four of fire, an otter. Otters, it's time to kick back, relax, and celebrate all that you have. Yeah. Joy arises from success in your career. The completion of a project or a very happy home life. Aww. That is just really, I think it's kind of, isn't it like the marriage card too? Beautiful. Five of fire. Mm, yes. I can get behind this in the tarot even. Yeah. Six of fire. And he's, you know, got a mini celebration here going on. <laughs> a rescue dog. Mm. Seven of fire, the gecko. Hmm. Beautiful though. Eight of fire, the B. Yeah. You've been presented with many wonderful opportunities all at once. While this may feel very stressful, remember to be grateful for all the blessings that you have received. Yeah, I can definitely get behind these being very positive and gentle. For sure. Nine of fire. Yeah. Ten of fire. Oh, yeah. They definitely work hard, don't they? Or they're, they could. Yeah. Mm. Oh, we have another butterfly. Because I didn't really see too many in these until here we have one. But the other ones, uh, I didn't see any in the minor so much. Um and periodically we see these throughout the court cards. Uh, monarch butterfly. I when I I think of uh, 
the butterfly them, themselves as messengers. The Knight of Fire. And the court cards have uh, keywords, which are very helpful for myself because I still struggle with court cards. Um, Queen of Fire. <laughs> I do have a little trouble associating this dolphin with the Knight of Fire. Uh, Queen of Fire. I, I can see that. There's the the sunflower and that's gorgeous. <laughs> Let's try to see what else is in the throne there. I'd have to really maybe screenshot that and take a look. It's beautiful though. Those kitties are so cute. Ooh, look at him. Yeah, that's got a Narnia feel, doesn't it? <laughs> mm. And look at how large he is. Yeah. Inspiring, dramatic, ambitious, wise. Yeah, definitely larger than life there, isn't he? Ace of Water. Hmm. Another butterfly. But this is a uh, Ace of Cups. I get an Ace of Cups feel from this, definitely. The Dove. Um Two of water and lovebirds, that makes sense. You know, even though it's water, it's still lovebirds. That I like that. Um, three of water. And I think of sisterhood. And here we've got three hummingbirds. I can get behind that. Um, but if you trimmed it, you know what I'm saying? Then you wouldn't, that's all you would have. Four of water. So I feel like this definitely is necessary. I don't think you could really get away with trimming these and shuffling and then, you know, without memorizing the uh, order. Mm. I do love the artwork so much. Gosh, these are absolutely gorgeous. So again, you know, you'll have to let me know, would you use these as tarot or just like affirmation and oracle. I mean, you, I, you, obviously, you know, we have the key word, so that does help, you know. They're bigger. I'm going to shuffle these too after I go through these. I want to shuffle. And, um, oh my gosh. Oh, I freaking love Maine Coon kittens or cats, period. They're so beautiful. So beautiful. Freaking love that. Um, you know, I don't rely so much on having to shuffle Oracle as much because I can spread them out and pick my cards that way. Um, or just it's, I can't riffle shuffle bigger cards, um, which really, I mean, doesn't, you can still shuffle obviously. So, I mean, even bigger tarot. So, um, I guess that's kind of irrelevant for myself that it doesn't make or break whether I have a deck or not, but for someone that wants something that is, uh, that you can shuffle, maybe a smaller standard size deck for top, for tarot, for that. Eight of water, kangaroo. Yeah. It's so easy to convince yourself that you're trapped when you really aren't. Trust that Source will lift you to new heights and give you greater self-confidence if you affirm your freedom. Yeah. Nine of water. Oh my goodness. So freaking cute. These are just absolutely gorgeous artwork. Ten of water. Aww. Oh my goodness. Like, for myself, I can only go to the zoo to see the prairie dogs, but I definitely like to watch them. They're so, they're kind of comical, you know. Hey, what's going on, guys? And then they disappear. Like, oh, somebody's watching us. Page of Water. So pretty. Knight of Water. Oh, that's Princess and the Frog. <laughs> that's cute. 
I love it. Romantic, flirtatious, introspective, enchanting. Yeah. Yeah. Queen of Water. Compassionate, loving, giving, psychic. Absolutely. King of Water. Huh. Warm hearted, devoted, loving, faithful. And now uh, the swords, so the ace of air, the panda. That's interesting. Sorry about my background noise there. Two of air. <laughs> Again, the artwork is just gorgeous. Three of air. Oh. oh, sadness is a part of life, but you don't have to endure it alone. Look, I mean, mm, that's beautiful. Oh, koala, four of air. Oh, yeah. My goodness, my daughter's very passionate about something right now. <laughs> five of air, the five of swords. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, six of air. <laughs> it's funny to think of a kitty sailing away, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Some some do like water. Um, seven of air, and this one is I think hilarious. You know, kind of thievery type stuff going on, but caution will help you avoid the loss of valuables, including non-material resources such as time or peace of mind. Be aware of the results of your actions as well as what others might be doing behind your back. <laughs> that's cute. That's per that's perfect too. I, I I agree with that. Like I like that a lot. <laughs> Eight of air. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Nine of air. Oh wow. That looks a little tumultuous, doesn't it? Hmm. Ten of air. Oh, my gosh. She's so freaking cute. <laughs> Page of air. Logical, truthful, curious, undiplomatic. Yep. Um, night of air. Decisive, focused, driven, impulsive. Yep. Queen of air, mm, experienced, self-sufficient, brilliant, funny. Oh, I like that. Freaking gorgeous. King of air. That's interesting. It's a whale, but uh, intelligent and partial, respected, unemotional. Yeah. Huh. At this time, it's very important that you communicate clearly be objective and unemotional and act as professionally as possible. If you need advice, seek out the most experienced expert you can find. I do like that. I definitely do. That's mm. um, Ace of Earth, a calico kitty. Mm. I like that. A Abyssinian, uh, no, I'm not going to say it right, but yeah, Abyssinian, Abyssinian, I know I'm not saying that right, kitty cat, <laughs> two of earth, uh, three of earth, yeah, I like that, because that shows, you know, I think, when I think of the three of earth, I think of teamwork, you know, so his owners helped him to win this ribbon, you know, through hard work. And so the card says your most satisfying and profitable career comes from following your passions, listening to your heart and doing what brings you joy. Your life purpose is best fulfilled by allowing your talents and true self to shine forth out into the world. Yeah. This is like a, a successful venture between pet and owner. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. I can see that, you know. Uh, four of Earth. The squirrel. Yeah. That makes sense. It makes sense. 
five of earth. So that would, I would not, without the keywords, I wouldn't associate tarot, but beautiful oracle card. Uh, six of earth, kiwi. Seven of earth, the cow. <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? They are curious and they're lovable and they cry sometimes. The planning resources and efforts you've invested in your dream will reap great rewards. In the meantime, have patience and meditate on your next steps. Cows definitely have personalities. Um, eight of Earth. Parrot. I, I mean, all animals do, but Cows are like domestic, in my opinion. Um, eight of Earth, the parrot. And he might actually be reading that. Parrots are so freaking fascinating to me. <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure it's not reading it, but that's cute as heck. Nine of Earth. Oh, gosh. So pretty. I love that. Ten of Earth. Golden Retriever. Look at their family. Oh my goodness. I love that. Oh. Oh. Page of Earth. The Tabby Cat. Cheerful, reliable, intelligent, and mischievous. Yeah, my Tabby is mischievous. <laughs> They're very cute. Knight of Earth, trustworthy, dedicated, protective, and funny. Huh. See, I wouldn't... Maybe, with the coins in the picture. Yeah. Queen of Earth, thoughtful, caring, creative, and ingenious. Yeah. Hmm. A little baby bunny next to it. That makes sense to me. And then the King of Earth. Huh. An Irish cob horse. Compassionate, accomplished, charismatic, and grounded. Boy, that's beautiful. Beautiful picture. Huh. Well, let's see if we can't shuffle these. <laughs> I already know. I already, I already know. <laughs> I mean, I can. It's not too hard. I'm pretty sure there's no riffling for me. Let's see, shall we? Shall I embarrass myself? Yeah, this is... Oh, goodness, I can't even get my fingers. Yeah, that's a... No. <laughs> yep, nope. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's, uh, let's see if the... Um, I want to shuffle them really, really good. So... Uh, I think I'm going to shuffle them half real quick. And then the other half. <laughs> so there's nothing in the um, guidebook for reversals, but I feel like with this being uh, tarot uh, represented like tarot, um, but it's the highest vibration, I would read these positively anyway because that's what the author uh, recommended. It's what he meant this for. So uh, let's see. Just give me something, you know, just a message. Oh, yeah, it's going to be this one. Sometimes it doesn't have to fly out. The star, another stalker card of mine. You are about to take a big leap forward with your life. Worry will be replaced with optimism. Fear with hope and joy is coming home to roost. I've been feeling this too. Um, you know, I'm a worry wart. And um, like exercising, letting go of things that, 
are pointless to worry about has been something I've been working on. Um, so it's kind of, yeah, this makes sense. And it's very, like, I could leave this card sit out and it's beautiful and it's an affirmation. It's great. Um, without those keywords, I would not know this is a star card. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and being numbered. So, but I don't know. Let me know what you think. Um, for Oracle, these are absolutely gorgeous. The artwork is gorgeous. The messages are gorgeous. Are, you know, very, very beautiful. Um, and again, Hay House just has really great quality. So, um, I don't think I missed anything. If you have questions, just uh, drop me a comment and let me know what those are. And again, thank you for spending this time with me. I don't expect you to watch if you're not interested in, in you know, purchasing and you're just curious. Um, you know, uh, but if you are, I truly appreciate that. I appreciate that period. But um, this is already pretty long. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Probably won't be doing any more walkthroughs for a while. Maybe just flip throughs because, um, you know, the, the, I wanted to make sure I did walkthroughs of the newer ones. So when I get the next one in three months, I will do walkthroughs again. But until then, just might see an occasional flip through. Um and then, of course, all the other stuff that I have on here when I have time. So um, I love you guys. And thank you so much for being here.